Hello everyone, Romy here and this is the tier 10 Spanish cruiser, the Castilla. This ship just right off the bat needs couple of buffs and I have been experimenting this ship for over 30 games. With some in versus AI just to understand her arcs and penetration. Let's talk about her problems and I believe this is what my pre-recording me say about Castilla. And the problem is her damage reduction. <laughs> 9% and then you go to Andalusia it has 10.5% right off the bat when I see damage reduction like this her armor is less so my assumption I was thinking of she might have 90 millimeters of armor but in reality it feels like she has Venezia style armor so that's like 60% yeah 60 millimeters not percent <laughs> but regardless she is a floating citadel and at first you might be thinking okay she has no armor so it's like alexander nevsky with napoli guns right well you could say it like that because her ap is pretty lackluster a gun that pens cruisers and battleships at long range can only pen at short to medium range so you got a ship meant for long range can only pen cruisers and battleships with her AP at short to medium range. That's a red flag right there. So how will you resolve this problem? Well, you will need assistance with a ship that can tank like FDG for example and you will see on this video right here. Now that Bernice you sap at me and that is like 4000 damage there. Meanwhile then. Me using AP at 7.4 kilometers against her, 5,000 damage for 4 out of 5 full penetration, which is great. Yes, this is Italian armor and it's supposed to pen like this. While my guns are reloading, FDG launched her salvo at Berninski and unlike that previous salvo which absolutely missed, this time it hits and it hurts. I did survey the minimap right here and the enemy battleship at Alpha is too busy with our battleship at spawn. So with no battleships to worry about, I go with the push. And I should take care of him hopefully. Yes, that's how you finish him off. Right. I can't switch to HE because I'll get that 23 long second to do so. Okay, so now it's left is not press that button, but focus on this hotline. Alright, HE loaded. Oh, that's nice full pens right there. Okay, Holland must have some more armor. One. There we go. Nice, look at that. Now it's just Mogador here. I want to keep my distance from that. I can pen. Mogador has a lot of armor, so I probably have potential. Keeping his distance, which is what I wanted. And I know that's gonna make him better. And oh that's nice damage right there. Our team captured the area. Let's see if I can get bit better shots here. Okay. Uh, let's not use that. And just finish him off. Enemy ship destroyed. There. Oh, yep, thank you for the sonar. I appreciate it. Take a nice good old turn. Like it's nothing. And guess what? Last apple. 
fights in this. Okay. Yeah, that Mogador wants to have fun, but he's not gonna play with food. <laughs> That's probably like one of the few MVPs I get. Yeah, that's like one of the few MVPs I ever get because it works if you have a battleship alongside because you're just dealing damage. As long as there's someone to be tanking you, Castillo works, but you're by yourself, it just does not work. So Castillo is more like a supportive cruiser rather than a standalone ship. So that is one gameplay where she can work. I did forget to tell that the last gameplay I was using AP camo and went against cruisers. It is obvious to pen. So this gameplay here, I go against battleships and we did a little bit trolling in chat. Get it. Negative. Negative. Denied. Negative. Lots of negatives. Denied. <laughs> Negative. Negative. Target spotted. Once the trolling is done, I am against a St. Vincent with no protection on my side. I had to kite and, well, watch my impressions with that AP camel. Now, time to flank. I'm against St. Vincent, so my danger level is high. Our team captured okay. The I can pen. I can actually pen. <laughs> I found the true spot. I found the true spot now. Yes, I have found the true spot. And this is where my second reason it needs a buff. Her AP penetration. See that with AP camel, her penetration is increased by 5% and that's just enough to start penning St. Vincent. I didn't use a commander with APCS, so just 5% more penetration is what she need. Now, add with Cortez, it will obviously pen St. Vincent and most battleships at max range, which is what we want. To get my point, no AP camo, no commander that has APCS, you shouldn't be able to pen St. Vincent at max range, and now with this AP camo, she can pen. So let's just continue the gameplay as I was continuing to experiment with the AP Camel. This is how you should do. So Castile needs the 4% uh, AP penetration. And then it works. And then with the APCS, you're just gonna end up over petting. So the penetration was too... <laughs> the penetration's just... what the... So, so it does have, okay, so the deceleration is the same as the Italians. So everything Italian-like, it's there. So if with the APCS, you actually end up just overpenning things. Target hit. Okay, that one I believe there are some half pens, but still. I believe this is working. Airborne. I'm gonna go overshoot this. And then I'm just gonna use HE against this Vermont on the other side. Target I got a Citadel on a Vermont with AP. So yeah, it works. We hit and I'm panning Vermont with HE. So that means that H is very strong, and AP is also very strong. I just okay. So the AP is yeah definitely Venencia like. I'm so shocked that that works. Yep, 
That's the map I know. Should have the speed to really make him miss the shots. Flying out. And to really pad it up. Ooh, okay, Buffalo's almost down. And I'm at max range. But I can even go further if I like to. Oh, well, that takes care of that. Overshot kill. There we go. Alright. AP Camo. No APCS. It works. <laughs> I found it. I found it. Oh my god, I actually found it. I want to do it again just to make sure it's not a fluke. And just right in. All right. Yep. I think that deletes my health. Now on this gameplay, this is by far the best gameplay for Castilla. In a game with Rafi on GK, I am utilizing her to tank the damage while I am at the back giving Rafi supportive fire at mid to close range. Having a ship to tank while you do great alpha with burst fire, a duel like this is by far the strongest, even though she doesn't have secondaries while the model says so. Anyways, enjoy this last gameplay and I'll see you at the end. We has a couple of games to go as well. I want to follow Rafi just because this is this is what uh, Cassius probably be good at right here. And then I'm just gonna support Rafi throughout this whole entire game. There's the torpedoes thanks to our bot. Fires do his job, and then hopefully whoever takes care, done. All right, next, Iowa. All right, now I'm in range for AP. Uh, I want to stay with Rafi as best as I could. Sonar is activated to assist. Torpedoes are probably going to go straight towards our uh, ghost curve first. I know Rafi how he's going to play. Just like that. And let's just finish him off. Perfect. Look at this. This is a combo right here. Ghost curve first and a Castilla. Like damage is just everywhere it's just everywhere right. let's go ahead and do a further uh, investigation to Marco Polo Target hit. what I'm gonna do is go straight because Marco Polo can pen me just like that. And just go ahead and just do that. I ain't dealing with it. Rafi will take care of it. I can trust Rafi for this. Our team is about to win. Just like I said. Okay, that hitbox. That hitbox so. And okay, what the? There we go. That's what I want to see. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's the Castia gameplay. <laughs> that's the Castia, Raffi, my man. <laughs> that is so quick. It was it was just 
absolute wipe. It was an absolute wipe out, but like, a, like this is how you should do. You have someone to push, Rosa Kerfer, Sheeflan, whatever, and then you just have Castilla behind because Castilla has enough damage output to actually support. But if you're by yourself, it just does not work. You just had to be at long range. But this, Grosso Kerfers Castilla. As long as Grosso Kerfers is being the main target and Castilla is just out the back instead of the front, Castilla works because it has the range, it has the speed, it can kite, it can push alongside with any ship that just needs more damage. And Castilla works on that way. You just need a certain division that works. And this is working. You just have to have somebody that commits to push. Anyways, my final verdict after playing 30 or so games on Castilla, she needs a buff on her damage reduction and AP penetration. In terms of supported playstyle, she works extremely well and for solo playstyle, flanking and kiting is alright only as she has that damage reduction buff. I would overall not play this ship yet and stay at Cataluna, which I will have a video coming out tomorrow. This is enough for me today, I hope you enjoyed this long video. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel as I am slowly approaching 800 subs and while that, I'll be looking forward to seeing you at seas next time, until then, Janet.